G'day there, everyone. Daniel Anderson here, and welcome back to the SharePoint 101 series. And in this episode, as we make our way through the web parts, we're going to take a look at the call to action web part. So let's dive in and have a look. I'm on a SharePoint communication site. I'm just going to pop this page into edit mode, and we're going to launch the web part toolbox. And you can see here that we've got a web part under text, media, and content called call to action. We'll click call to action. It adds the web part to the page. And you can see we've got a button, we've got a title, and we've also got the ability to have a background image. So we click on this little uh, pencil here, edit web part. The properties pane will slide out from the right hand side. And we can see that we've got the ability to adjust three properties here. We've got the image. So let's add a background image to this call to action. Let's choose this one here. We'll insert that. You can see that that appears as the background image to uh, the web part. We've got a button label. Let's pop in find out more. And we've also got the ability here to add the button link. So I'm just going to pop in a uh, random link here. We can also adjust the alignment so we can go to center, we can go to right, or we can go to left. Now, the, the part that isn't part of this, uh, the, the web part properties here is the actual, uh, the text in, in that appears uh, in this part of the web part. So we actually need to click inside this web part to add the text. Uh, so let's go employee benefits. And we've now got that there. I like uh, the center, so let's just add it in the center and we are good to go. We'll republish this and that has now added the call to action web part onto the page. So there we have it, uh, the call to action web part as part of the SharePoint toolbox um, and as part of this uh, SharePoint 101 series. So I hope that brings you some value and I'll see you in the next episode.